Hey guys, welcome to another review by M1 Tech Reviews. I'm your host, San. Let's get started. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be taking a look at Skinomi's Carbon Fiber Full Body Skin for your MacBook Pro 15 inch. Now, this is the late 2011 model, so if you go check out their website, it'll tell you which model they have it for. Like I said, mine is the late 2011, so this is the skin for it. Uh, it actually comes in this clear polycarbonate tube, and everything is actually rolled up inside. Once we take this little black cap off, we will see the contents that, that Skinomi provides. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you do pull this out, they are going to offer you a set of instructions, but I advise you to go to Skinomi.com if you want to do a little bit more research about this product. This is going to be an unboxing and an installation video, so if you'd like, stick around to this video and towards, I would say another couple more minutes, you're going to see me install this onto the MacBook Pro. So I did it my best and, you know, I tried my best to get it on and it went on perfect. So, let's take a look at what comes inside. That Skinomi actually puts into these things, it's a little solution there that you're supposed to spray on your hands or clean the device with. You have a little pamphlet here that they recommend that you go directly to their website and check out the instructional videos. Hopefully this video will help. And you can go to their YouTube page as well. They give you a nice little squeegee here that's embossed with Skinomi's logo. And here they actually have a very nice cleaning cloth that is made of microfiber. So. Um, the pieces that comes with it, you're actually going to get the top piece that goes over the top of your MacBook Pro and it is not cut out around the Apple, so keep that in mind. It does go full straight off the top of your MacBook. They do give you these little pieces that um, they go on the outer edge and all around your MacBook Pro, so they include a lot of pieces. As you can see there, you have the little pieces, you have the part for the latch, and you do have a little cut out for your infrared port. If we take a look further, we're actually going to see, you see these lines in here, keep in mind that that does not matter. This skin is very flexible and none of the creases will matter. Once you pull it out, it's going to look, you know, it's wrinkled up or whatever, but that does not matter. Trust me, this is my second install. And out with the squeegee and everything is going to be fine, trust me and you do have the this is the piece for the top and they do give you the piece for the bottom as well and they also include the palm guard section but they don't include the trackpad portion of the sticker so let's get this thing on and stick around because here comes the install now if you notice here the first thing I'm doing is cleaning off the top and the bottom piece of the MacBook Pro the top and the bottom and I'm cleaning it with the Skinomi solution. I do have a heat gun on hand. That heat gun is going to get you through this installation like a breeze. Trust me, it goes on really well. When you're all finished with this installation, if you do have any creases or anything, just hit it with the heat gun and just rub it right out. The, the heat is a vital part of this installation. It makes the skin more malleable. And as you can see here, just follow the template that you have here. Line up. The first thing I did was line it up. I lined it up on the corners and I made sure before I installed it that it matched up with all the screw holes and the feet holes. So once you get that on, like I said, if you, if you hit it with the heat gun, it's actually going to come out really soft and then you can push it and you can maneuver the skin any which way you like. And trust me, I'm so thankful that I got that heat gun because it made this installation a breeze. Once you get everything on, as you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just pushing out all the bubbles and take a look. I mean, it was a good portion of 20 minutes that I finished this and I, now I'm talking 20 minutes the whole installation because I did speed it up through the magic of video. As you can see there, it is flawless. There are no air bubbles. All the screw holes and all the feet holes line up perfectly. So that was the bottom. The next thing we're actually going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and install the top. And like I said, guys, keep this in mind. There is no cutout for the Apple logo, so check it out. Here we go. We're going to flip this upside down, and we're going to install the top piece. Now, like I said, keep in mind, once you do hit it with the heat gun, you are going to notice it coming up on the edges. Just hit it with the heat gun and press your fingers down, and it's done. All right, same thing goes for this side. 
clean off the MacBook with the skin only solution provided. It's going to come out really clean, it's going to come out really nice, and that's actually a good thing that they provide the solution. So once we get that on, and make sure that your MacBook is clean and you know there's no debris anywhere because if you do get any type of debris or anything on the top of your MacBook, it's going to show up as a bubble. Uh, the next thing we're going to do here is take it off the, the paper it comes on. Now, a little hint and a little tip. Make sure that you push it the way I did it is I pushed it towards more of the front where the, your latch is. And I made sure that there was about, I would say, about a millimeter worth of space between the very edge of the lid to the carbon fiber top. And I went back from there. The first thing I did was line up both corners, the flush part on the front, and I just smoothed it out with the squeegee. And if I needed a little bit of heat, I just hit it with the heat gun. And guys, let me tell you something. If you are actually scared about putting these skins on, trust me, don't be scared. It makes your MacBook look amazing. It gives it such a textured feel that I don't think I would ever go back to having a MacBook without a skin on it. That's how confident I am. And for the price you pay, this is a $49.99 whole set from Skinomi. Let me tell you something, their customer service is, is excellent. The people that work over there are nothing but courteous and professional, and they attend to every single one of your needs. If you have a problem, or if you ever have a problem with these skins, or anything that Skinomi provides, they are gonna come to your aid. Pretty much the best in customer service, I mean, that I have witnessed from a company so far. And I'm going to give that award to Skinomi. So, here's the finished in installation. I actually went ahead, I did not want to bore you guys with the side and the uh, palm guard portion and that little piece that goes over the top, as you can see here above the speakers. That went on with no problem. I didn't even need a heat gun for that. But the completed look is, to me, I think it's just amazing. It gives it such a textured feel and it just gives you that sporty look that I can appreciate because I love the carbon fiber look. And as you can see there, it went on perfect, you know? And the whole installation process took me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes because I did have that heat gun. If you want, go ahead and pick yourself up a heat gun because I think you can catch them now for maybe $10, $15. You can get them at Home Depot or whatever, but it's really gonna help you out. And this is one completed look, and I like it. So, I mean, it goes all the way around. There's the only spots that don't give you the stickers for, and that's the optical drive. So, thank you very much for sticking with me, guys. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. I want to thank Skinomi.com and their excellent customer service for providing me with this awesome review unit. Don't forget to like that Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.